Hello, this is my GCSE Art Textiles exam book. And I'm just going to go through it. Okay, so when you start this course, um, you'll get a booklet um, and you get 20 hours to make your book, but you also have homework time. And then you've got 10 hours to make your final piece. The booklet will give you your title, Ordinary and Extraordinary, and then it'll give you some tips as what you can do. I was particularly interested in this, which was a christening dress. I thought it was um, a useful idea because it's smaller than an actual size dress and so easier to manage in the 10 hours. This is my title page. I was looking at the legend of the children of Lear and Catholicism. Okay, so this uh, was really my first proper page um, and it's sort of a mind map of pictures and ideas um, for what I would do in my project. This page here tells you about um, what I've chosen to do. It's the story of the children of Lear uh, with illustrations. Um, basically, uh, a group of siblings are turned into swans by their evil stepmother and they're only turned back again when they meet St. Patrick. Also, the legend goes. Um, I chose Catholicism because we were looking at christening dresses. Um, and I chose Catholicism as I'm a Catholic rather than just Christianity because I could be more precise um, in what I was doing. Okay, uh, this page, inspired by David Hockney, shows a wooded scene. Um, so it's multimedia. I've used glitter and acrylic to make the background and fabric for the bottom. I've used a felting technique, which is where you get um, fibre um, like fabrics, a bit like wool or something like that, and use a felting needle to sort of mould it together into these shapes. Um, I've also got a swan in felt over here. Okay, this is a page on David Hockney. Um, we went to an art gallery to see his exhibition. And this is a collage I've made of different pieces of his works, putting them all together. Um, I've used sellotape to secure the whole thing down. It stops bits coming up and it also gives um, a laminated like look, uh, which looks more professional. Um, looking at God and Mary, as in the idea of the extraordinary, which we were looking at in our title this page. This page um, I went to a castle and it was beautifully decorated on the inside with fairy tales and birds so it looked really beautiful um, so I was quite inspired by that. I also went to the V&A um, and so again I have some drawings here of um, sculptures and things that I saw. Now I started to look at stained glass windows because I thought they were really beautiful and in keeping with my theme, as you can see there's even stained glass windows of uh, the Children of Lear story. And here are some pictures I took myself uh, from my church. More there. And then um, my own interpretation there. Um, that's a painting I've done there. And uh, the little christening gown is made of lace, so it's 3D. Looking at illustrations, but in some of the Children of Lear stories, um, and little bits I've done there myself. And then we've got my own drawings here, um, that I did. And then on this page, um, I've got multimedia. So we've got paintings, um, painting on fabric with glitter, stenciling, embroidery. This is embroidery done on angel hair. So you can see through both sides. So it changes the technique that you're doing because you can't have any loose hairs because you will be able to see it. This is batik. This is silk stitch embroidery. Um, and this is batik where you scrunch the, the wax, um, so you get this sort of crisscross path pattern, uh, which makes it look a little bit like stained glass, and I really like that. These were some pictures I took, a little swan family, I thought that was really cute. 
um, and some pictures I did um, as an interpretation of these angels and things. And these were some wings that I made. This is made using angel hair that I've then felted onto. Um, so it's got a, a soft feel to it. These were ideas for my final piece. I could do wall hangings or dresses or different bits here. Some little drawings. Again, um, that's a final design if I was going to do a wall hanging. And then these are final designs, um, which is what I ended up doing, which was the christening dress, christening robe. Um, this was my final design. And here were just some samples of different ways of making the wings that I was going to do on the back. So it's sort of like a little angel um, with the felting and what happens if you paint the angel hair, you get this really nice effect. Um, this is what the wool looks like that you use just for ordinary uh, felting with. Um, and as you can see here with the end page, it's very blank and that's really because I ran out of time. So that's a warning to you all because it is a time thing. Um, it got a little more rushed towards the end. Okay, so that was my book. Hope that was useful. Okay. So this was the final piece that I made. Um, and we'll just go through the different parts of it. You'll see it's a little bit different from the final design. Um, and that's just because as you're doing things you realise, oh, this is going to work or this isn't. Okay, so the wings is the angel hair and felting. But I've also added um, feathers to it. They're looking a little tatty because I've had it away in storage for so long. Um, so sorry about that. Um, so you can see the embroidery here and here, which is like the samples in my book. Um, there's this little cross, which is ribbon that's been glued so it's firm and then also has copper wire on it uh, to give it a little Celtic look. Um, we then have this sort of thick band around here which is dyed fabric that I've then stenciled crosses onto. Uh, we've also got the stenciled birds all across the dress um, and then at the bottom here we've got batik in all different colours along the bottom and it's quite hard to see on this but the colour fades up the dress um, from this deep colour to white at about here. Um, yeah so there were 10 hours to complete this dress um, and I bought the christening dress and then just did all the decorations myself because of the time limits. Um, yeah, so I think that's pretty much it. Okay, I hope this was really helpful for you. Okay, bye!